Chasers, at ease. I want to welcome all of you to the first Kurtzpell Intelligence Briefing, the KIB Report. Going forward, the KIB will be a monthly briefing that brings the latest Kurtzpell news to you, those on the front lines. In this briefing, we'll be covering the following topics. The new crafting system. Invisible accessories. The guild system phase one. The all new six player PVE mission. The party limit increase. Map preference system. Costume DLC and the new supply box accessories. The all new crafting system. Synthesis. To use the synthesis system, we start by locating Hildad's Cube, a powerful relic located inside the Elthica Library. This relic will allow you to synthesize new items and extract materials from existing items that will then be used to craft new items. Special synthesis items can be found while playing through PvE missions. You will have a chance to acquire the Energy of Chaos and Lost Pieces items. These are items that can be used to synthesize special boss items. While playing PvP missions, you will have a chance to acquire the Energy of Harmony. With the combination of Energy of Harmony and the Extracted Essence items, you'll be able to craft Supply Box items and Karma Crystals. Extracting will allow you to acquire different Essence items that will depend on the item you are extracting from. For example, if you extract an accessory, you will acquire Accessory Essence. The amount of energy and essence needed for synthesis will depend on the type and number of items being created. Those chasers who only focus on PvP or PvE can convert the energy types they received to the equivalent opposing energy source. For example, energy of harmony to chaos by using a 2 to 1 ratio, 2 being the ingredient and 1 being the target energy you are trying to synthesize. In addition, you will be able to use basic dyes to synthesize an intermediate dye, and then use intermediate dyes to synthesize advanced dyes. Invisible Accessories Accessories Some chasers love looking a little extra, and others like the basic simple approach to combat apparel. We're about to talk about providing options. Setia, the Trickster Elemental will now allow you to craft her invisible accessories through Hildad's cube using essence and energy. You will now be able to create your perfect look without sacrificing stats. Phase 1 of the guild system has been implemented. This has been a feature chasers have been asking for since day 1, and now you will be able to create and join guilds. We'll make this quick and let's do this by the numbers. The new guild feature is accessed by pressing R and then clicking the guild button located next to the friend icon. Guild creation requires 10,000 CP. Guild names must be alphanumeric with a total length from 4 to 16 characters. Guilds can have up to 50 members. When you are in a guild, you will be able to chat with fellow members by using the guild chat function. From the sidebar, Chasers will be able to join a guild from the recommended guild list. 10% of AP earned by your individual guild members will be added to the guild's GAP. This will not take away from the amount of AP earned by individual guild members. The guild ranking will be set based on the combined earned GAP. The guild with the highest GAP will be placed at the top of the recommended guild list. GAP will reset on the first of each month at 6 a.m. server time. Housekeeping. Guildmasters and guild members who haven't logged in for 30 days will be kicked from the guild. If the entire guild goes AWOL for 30 days, the guild will be disbanded. If the guildmaster disbands the guild, or guild member quits the guild or gets kicked from a guild, a character on that account will, won't be able to join another guild for 24 hours. Phase 2 of the Guild System update will include a Guild-only Elthica channel and content that will be accessed by way of GAP. The 6-player PvE mission, Blazing Blade of Calamity, will be added. One day, a Knight of Calamity appeared who wielded the power of Calamity at his will. The Chase dispatched their numbers to investigate and report. We lost a lot of Chasers that day. Due to losing so many soldiers, 
we decided to only allow chasers deranked or higher to pursue the threat in order to minimize casualties. In order to defeat the Blazing Blade of Calamity, combat will not only depend on the ability of each individual chaser, but teamwork will be essential. The Knight of Calamity has a total of four phases, and each phase has a time limit. If you are not able to pass each phase within the set time limit, you will fail the mission. You will also acquire rewards depending on the number of phases you are able to clear. Acquired Knight of Calamity items can be extracted and synthesized to create different Knight of Calamity items. Party Limit Increase The max number of party members has been increased to 6. Depending on the number of members in your party, missions you can request will be limited. When there are 3 members in your party, you will be able to queue up for practice probatio. When there are 4 members in your party, you will be able to queue up four player PvE missions. When there are six members in your party, you will be able to queue up six player PvE missions. Map Preference System You will now be able to eliminate two maps from the official and practice Probatio modes. When chasers strike two maps from the listed options, those maps will not be allowed while in the matchmaking queue. However, if the queue time is prolonged due to map preferences, you may need to play on a map that was eliminated. While in a party, only the map preference of the party leader will be in effect. Chasers won't be able to use this function until they have competed in at least five Probatio matches, both official and practice. Shop Update A new Battlesuit costume and Weapon DLC package have been added. New accessories will be added to supply boxes. As you were, Chasers. The Kurt Spell Intelligence Briefing, the KIB, will be a monthly show that we will offer for all major updates for Kurt Spell going forward. In addition, thanks for tuning in, and we'll make sure to keep this as exciting as possible without losing the voice. Thank you.